Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. So in today's vlog, it's gonna be all about my kit and my studio. So everything makeup and spray tan related. Um, I'm going to be kind of showing you guys me adding some products to my kits and showing you my new organization in there because I kind of reorganized everything. It's an ever going project, my kit. It will always be, I will always be adding to it. I will always be finding the best organization for me um, and it's fun to me. So I will forever be showing me <laughs> reorganizing my kit. Um, but I also wanna reorganize this room. This is my studio. So um, a little backstory, I basically run two businesses out of this studio. I have my makeup business where I do trials, prom makeup, special event makeup. I just do makeup out of here, basically. And then I also have my spray tan business. So when I'm not doing makeup, usually my spray tan tent is up, my machine's plugged in, all of that. So I basically have two businesses being run out of the same space. So it can get a little chaotic at times. I feel like I am constantly switching back and forth between the two, sometimes multiple times in one day. So it just gets a little crazy. And I just feel like it's in need of like a deep clean and I just need to get rid of stuff and just like start fresh. Next month is a new, is the start of a new month. So I just like wanna go into June feeling organized and just good. So we need to get this place organized. Also on top of running two businesses out of here, I also get ready in here cause my makeup's in here and then that's my closet. Those are my clothes. So I'm in here all the time. So sometimes, even though this is a decent sized room, sometimes I can feel a little, ugh, like a little tight, a little chaotic, because I just have so much going on in here. And spray tan equipment is not minimal equipment. You know, I got a tent, I have a machine, I have light, like it's a lot. Um, that's the other thing. I always have lights in here set up, so it's just a lot. So I wanted to organize, clean, just, get this room together and also get my kit together and add some new products um, which I will be showing you guys so let's jump into it so I did pick up the Mac studio radiance face and body foundations these are going to be a new addition to my kit I think I got four shades this has been an OG product for a very long time for many makeup artists you can use it on the body you can use it on the face it's a really great product and what's amazing about this foundation is it's actually waterproof. So it's great for bridal work or work where your client is going to be, events where your client is going to be wearing makeup for a super long time, maybe they're gonna be outside, maybe whatever. Um, it is a great product for that. Now this foundation is not going to be for everyone because it is a very sheer, radiant finish. Um, it's great for clients that have freckles that really don't want to cover them up at all because this will not cover it up. Um, it's great for mother of the bride and grooms if they want a very natural look to their skin. Um, and like I said, it's waterproof, so it's a kind of like a nice, um, no, it's just like a nice feature, the fact that it's waterproof. So I got four shades, and although the bottle isn't that big, it's it's a little big for my liking. So we're gonna be depotting this into where did I put it? In there. Um, I'll show you. I get these on Amazon. I've ordered them like multiple times. I can't get this open. These guys. So these are little dropper bottles. Um, I don't even know, I think they hold half an ounce, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, basically we're going to be putting some of this into here. Obviously it's not going to fit all of the stuff, but at least if I have this much, I can just refill it whenever I need. So these um, definitely take up a lot less space in your kit, which is amazing. I feel like I look so dewy right now. But yeah, that's amazing. Um, you can definitely fit a lot more shades when you use products like this that are super small. Um, like a section of my kit that would normally hold maybe up to five foundations in their regular bottles, I can hold 10 foundations because the, these bottles are literally half the size of the normal bottle. So if you have not depotted your foundations and stuff like that, 
definitely do that. It, it will do your back a favor for sure. So we're going to be adding the MAC face and body. And the only other thing that we will be adding is I did pick up, oh my gosh, where is it? I did pick up one lip gloss, which we're just going to throw in here. No biggie. Um, this is MAC lip gloss in see-through because one of my brides, I'll insert her picture on the screen. Um, I've, I have this for myself. I don't really use it that often because I'm more of like a pinky nude person, but this is like a true like nude, peachy nude. Um, but one of my brides used this on her wedding day. She wanted me to use it and I just thought it looked really pretty. So I decided to add this to my kit. And then the other thing that I'm adding are these. These are the Pixie, um, Pixie Glow Tonic to go. So this is basically their their toner, the Glow Tonic, um, in pad form. So it's like pre-soaked pads. There are how many of these? 60 pads, and it's a gentle exfoliation. It the pads promote even skin tone for gentle exfoliation on the go. So basically this is a great way to prep your client's skin before going in with any other products. It will kind of gently exfoliate the surface of the skin, get rid of any oils, leftover makeup, stuff like that, and then you can go in with your skin prep. Um, I always like a product like this, some sort of toner to really clear the skin before we add any products on top of it. So we'll be adding that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to start adding this one to here. Um, this is shade N1 for those that are wondering. Oh, crap. The fun, the great part about this, because sometimes depotting your makeup can be a pain in the ass. Depotting your foundations, because if they're thick, it's hard to get it like in the bottle, but these already have like a dropper on them and it's a very liquidy foundation, so I literally can just squirt it right in like this. They come with like little um, toppers. So you just like put this little guy in the top here, push it in like that. And then you take the cap, you wanna, Screw it all the way on like this, tight, and then screw back, and then it will take this little white piece off. That way, that white piece stays there. Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. And then I'm just going to get my label maker and label this MAC F&B N1. MAC Face and Body N1. I probably shouldn't start doing this before I have spray tans. I have two spray tans this afternoon, but... This is what I do to myself. So MAC. And now it's labeled and we went from this to this. Great. All right, next one is C3. If you're wondering, this is the formula. This is what it looks like on the skin. Very pretty, very radiant. But like I said, it, it dries down. Um, so it still keeps that radiant finish, but it, it dries down. So very a unique foundation in my opinion. Um, okay, let's do this one. I'm just gonna dump this in here. And I have a Mac Pro discount, so honestly, to order on Mac is like pretty inexpensive because you get a pretty good deal, in my opinion. So, all right, next one is C0. in there. This one I actually tried on myself. Um, put a little bit on. Why not? It's a really 
lightweight product. I'm looking so glowy today. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not loving, I don't love that because I'm an oily person, but I feel like it's like a healthy glow. These lights are making me look even more glowy, but yeah. Anyways, let's do the last one. Okay, we are done depotting these. So this is now the size that four foundations is gonna take up compared to this. If you haven't depotted your foundations in certain products, you should. Um, so I'm gonna find a spot for this in my kit. I think I'm gonna depot these just because it saves like a tiny bit of space. If I keep them in this container, it's not going to fit right in my kit. So I'm just gonna try and do this. So I'm trying to depot my Danessa Myricks Vision Cover Cream. I only have three shades of this. This is a really good product to have in your kit because it's very high in pigment. Um, so you can use it as foundation. I have many times. Um, however, it's also a good product to like spot conceal with before you go in with actual foundation because it's so pigmented and so full coverage. Um, so it's just a good versatile product to have in your kit. Unfortunately, the pump on N01 is not working very good, so I'm having a hard time getting it out of this into here. So I only got this much, which isn't a lot, but it's enough for quite a few uses. So for now, I will just leave it like this. Um, like I said, this is a product you don't need a lot of, so it's fine. I could just leave it like this for now. I don't feel like fussing with this, so I'm just gonna put these in my kits. Um, Again, so saving quite a bit of room. Let me do N01, print this out, put the label on, and then add this to my kit. All right, so I think that's it for depotting my makeup. I'm for all depotting my foundations. Um, I don't think I have any more to depot, so. I'm going to kind of fuss with this a little bit, reorganize, and then I'll show you guys once everything is put together. All right, you guys. So, have to depot two more things. Um, I got it in the mail. I got them in the mail today because I placed an order on Sephora, and I got the Lumi Glotions. I freaking love these. Um, I've been using these for a couple years now. They actually just kind of went viral on TikTok because people say that they are similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I think they are slightly different. It does give the same effect to the skin, but the product itself is different. This is more of a lotion consistency. Um, it's actually like kind of hydrating. This is the medium shade. The medium shade is a really great um, shade but it just adds that nice glow. I also got shade light, um, but this, it gives the same look to the skin. Like it gives the same glow to the skin, but the, the formulas itself are very different. This is more of like a primer consistency. It's a little bit thicker, the Charlotte Tilbury, but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative and something that can give you that nice glow, just go with this. Honestly, there's no need to really have this. Um, I have it in my kit because I'm just trying to use it up, but um, I'm going to really just be using these from now on. So again, I have shade light and medium. For myself, I've been actually liking shade deep um, because it gives the skin, like it literally when I apply this, it looks like I've just been in the sun. Like it looks like I'm just like completely sun kissed, so I really like this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to depot these into these little containers. Um, Luna, do not be trying to bite anything. All right, and you can use these on the chest too, which is nice. <gasps> no! Okay. 
Next one is the light shade. Let me just show you guys again what this looks like. I don't know if you guys can really see. The lighting isn't good, but you see, it's it's so pretty, you guys. It's really so pretty. Um, I've actually, I don't know if I've ever used the light shade. But we're just going to push this in there. I have a feeling this is going to be a very long video because we haven't even started the process of cleaning the studio yet because I haven't had a chance. <laughs> but while we're here, I thought I would show you guys the other stuff that I got um, from Ulta. Not a lot of stuff, just a few things. Like I showed you, we got the Lumi Glotion um, in light and medium. Also picked up, because I've seen some other makeup artists post this, the Urban Decay Moon Dust. Little backstory. I used to be obsessed with Urban Decay. It was like one of the first brands that I really fell in love with. Like back in the day when YouTube was just starting out and like influencers and at the time it was beauty um, gurus, that's what they were called, on YouTube. Everyone used Urban Decay. Like it, that was the brand. It was like Urban Decay and MAC. And Urban Decay would come out with these bomb palettes. And I used to love them so much. Every palette that they came out with, I would go run and get it. Um, so, Urban Decay is like a very special place. It has a very special place in my heart. But, I got the Urban Decay Cosmic Eyeshadow. This is their Moon Dust Shadows. First off, the packaging is just so cute. It's this little acrylic packaging. Super cute. Small. So it won't take up a lot of space. Like I said, this is the shade Cosmic. Um, this is the shade Cosmic. Let me show you guys. It's basically just like a loose pressed, well it's basically like a pressed pearl glitter. So pretty. So I got this for those brides that want that nice sparkle on the lid and want like, it's kind of like a nice eyeshadow topper. So I got Cosmic. Um, I also picked up two more of the Juvia Play, Juvia's Place eye primers, the one, shade 1 and 2. Um, I've been loving these, so I picked up another one um, because I ended up putting the ones that I bought for myself in my kit, and these ones are for me. Um, picked up another shade of my Born This Way concealer in light beige. I ran out of this shade, and I like this shade for... Summer. Um, it's a nice neutral shade. It's not too bright. I like it for concealing and then I'll go in with another shade to brighten. Um, so yeah, I got that for my kit. Um, what else? Picks up Morphe Lip Pencil and Backseat Love. I heard that this is a good one. Um, it is just a nice, like, I don't know, beigey, like, pink color pretty. Not my kind of shade, but it's pretty. Um, and then I got two of these. I saw another makeup artist post about this. So this is the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. It's an ultra matte finish with aloe and vitamin E. So this is a makeup fixing spray. So this is what you're going to want to use the very last step of your, of your, um, makeup and this is going to seal everything in. This isn't something you're going to want to spray throughout your makeup application. It's different than like a facial spray or a setting spray. Like most setting sprays you can use throughout the application to really lock everything in but this is like the sealer. Like this is going to seal everything. So I'm actually going to look it up. I actually sprayed this earlier. My makeup had been on for a while at that point, but I sprayed it earlier and I literally felt it like tightening on my face. Like I felt that matte finish happening, um, but not in a bad way. It just felt like, oh wow, like my makeup's really going to stay on. That's what it felt like. Um, so this will be great for my brides, great for, how do you always find something to chew? great for my bridesmaids all of that so I feel like this with like a setting spray as well like we'll, we'll lock everything in and it's a nice hold on uh oh it's a nice like spray bottle 
it like mists really nicely. It does have a strong scent though, I am gonna warn you. But yeah, we're gonna be testing this out. I've heard it's good. So I got one for myself, one for my kit, and we'll see how it works. I'm gonna really be able to see how it works on my oily skin. It's starting to get hot here in New Jersey. But yeah, that's what I got from Ulta. Um, I'm gonna just probably stop for now. Um, so, this is like a three part vlog <laughs> because I don't think I'm gonna start the cleaning process of this room today because it's already, oh my God, it's already almost four o'clock. We have dinner plans. And then I have a client at 8.30 in the morning for a spray tan. So I feel like if I start now, I'm not gonna be able to finish and then I'm not gonna be able, then it's gonna look like a mess for my client. So I might as well just wait till tomorrow right after my client leaves, then start cleaning this room. Cause I know once I start cleaning in here, it's gonna be like messy before it's clean, you know? Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I guess right now I'll just really quickly show you my kit because I was trying to show you guys yesterday and I think I ran out of space on my memory card, so yeah. But right now my kit is looking really good. All right, so this is the overview. We got over here, concealers, contour and color correctors, liquid contour and color correctors, foundations in this section here. Um, so RC My Face Atelier, Dose of Colors, Danessa Myricks, then over here, primers, skincare, we have a couple different skincare items, facial mist and setting spray in here. Um, we also have, oops, hold on one sec, I forgot to put this back. Um, oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. Um, moisturizers here, Pixie Glow Tonic Pads, fits perfectly right there. And here we have MAC Face and Body, the two glow shins that I just showed you, and this is an illuminating product by Face Atelier. So like my illuminators go here, face and body. We have cream foundations, cream highlight and contour here, as well as here. Um, this actually doesn't go there. Powders, um, powders, um, more powder products, pretty much highlight and bronzers, highlight and contour, blushes, bronzers, all of that. Um, this guy doesn't really have a home, so eh, I guess we can put him there. Um, and then we have eye products, pigments, eyeshadow bases, liquid eyeshadows, um, and then I stick this guy in there. I've really been loving this guy. This is a BH Cosmetics Highlight Palette. I use this actually for eyeshadow. It looks super beautiful. And then this is my um, Anastasia Brow Palette, lip liners, mascara, tools, Lip liner and eyeliner, Makeup Forever Artist pencils, amazing. Um, I got cut off, but these are shadow um, crayons, liquid liners here. Um, some other eyeliners go here, and brow pencils here. Um, so, yeah, that's what that's looking like. And then I have obviously like palettes and stuff up here, but. That is that, um, but yeah, that is the kit right now, and I'm sure it will change again. So, got my eye patches on, got coffee, and we're gonna tackle this studio. Um, 
yeah so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off on my vanity go through everything in the vanity reorganize take everything off wipe everything down and then um, yeah of course my freaking damn it I'm out of battery all right well I'm gonna just have to like clean this and then show you guys once I have more battery. I was hoping to like do a fast forwarded thing where you got to see me go through everything, but you'll get to see me clean a million other things, so it's okay. Let me put this on the charger and I will be back. I lied, I found a battery that was charged. All right. So aside from all of like the brushes on top that needs to be cleaned, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna start with, oh my God, this is like very unstable, this tripod. All right, I'm gonna start in here. First drawer is done. Um, we have back here tools and a little hair clips to keep my hair out of the way, mascaras, lash curlers, brow gels, um, and lash glues, and then brow products here, and then like lip balms and stuff there. So, first drawer done. Okay, next drawer is done. So, we have liners these are jumbo stick um, NYX jumbo six pencils if you have been on the YouTube beauty world for a while you know that these things were like everyone's favorite this was like what is a popular product right now rare beauty liquid blush like everyone had these back in the day I would never put these on my eyes because they are so old, but I cannot get rid of them, so they stay in this drawer. I, they're very nostalgic to me. Like, I got into these when I got into makeup, so I don't know. They just hold, like, a special place in my heart. Um, we have eye bases here, liners, and cream shadows here, liquid shadows, and then a couple small little eyeshadow palettes in there, and then um, liquid liners over here. This drawer is kind of fun. I just want to share it with you guys. Um, over here we have like all gems and stuff and like sequins for like creative looks. Um, 
So we have like pearls. These are all gems. Look at the amount of swatches on my hands. <laughs> Um, butterflies, like all different stuff there, and then the rest is like pigments and glitters, and then I even have like fun stuff for looks that I've done in the past, like these are like butterfly clips, um, these are like all different like sequins and stuff, so this is like my creative drawer, this isn't one that I come into that often anymore, unfortunately, <laughs> but I definitely want to get back into doing like creative looks. I even have old MAC pigments in here that I will never get rid of. I don't know, again, just super nostalgic to me, but yeah, I love this drawer. I have to organize it, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. Guys, I just have to share this pigment. I, another product I won't get rid of, it's the Bare Minerals Pigment in True Gold. This was my shit back in the day. The Bare Mineral pigments in general were my shit. Like, I had so many colors of these. I've gotten rid of pretty much all of them except this one because this was by far my favorite. These were so good. They had their moment and they were so good. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the color because I'm telling you, like, I am obsessed with this. I will never get rid of it because it was just so beautiful to me and I wore it all the time. Like, look at that. It was like a true gold. I love this so much. It brings back so many memories. Okay, here's another one that I just cannot get rid of. Sugar Pill Lumi Pigment. Will forever have a special place in my heart because I just thought this was the coolest pigment ever. Sugar Pill in general was such a, like, cool indie brand back in the day. Um... I'm hoping that they're still around. I don't know. But this was such a cool pigment. It was like a duochrome, like bluish pearl color. So cool. I will keep this forever. So in here, we have a ton of like freelance stuff. Um, I have to go through this. This is stuff that I like rotate in my kit. Um, extra products that I wasn't really using in my kit anymore. They just kind of get put in this drawer. You know, I got stuff everywhere. This drawer I just did, we got sponges, powder puffs, and then over here is like extra skincare that goes in my kit that, um, like I, I use like little containers for the skincare in my kit, so this is like the actual big containers that I could use to refill the little ones. Um, but yeah, this one, honestly, I'm probably just going to throw out a lot of stuff in this drawer. Alright, so this is what we're left with in this drawer throwing out all of that because honestly it's probably mostly expired anyway and yeah so yep this is what we are left with okay going through my foundation drawer already went through concealers got rid of some of those um this throwing out this comes from someone that I do not like she gave it to me, so we're throwing that out because I don't need her bad energy. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just go through all of this and honestly, I went through this not that long ago, so I really don't think I'm going to be throwing out a lot of foundations, um, if I'm being honest, but maybe this because I don't think I've used this in a while
so all of these are loose powders. I definitely have like a lot of powders. I love powder. <laughs> um, and I've tried a lot over the years. So we have Halo Glow powders. These are Ben Nye. These are also Ben Nye. We have Press powders here, Charlotte Tilbury, um, Huda, Brightening powders. These are all the Maybelline Fit Me Loose powders, which are amazing. Another Huda powder. And then over here is like cream contour products and cream bonders, and then even more loose powders back there. So that is what is in this drawer. Next, I actually organized this not too long ago, so I'm just going to kind of fix it up a little bit, but this is bronzers, blushes, and setting sprays. So, I have a little bit of time, so I have a little bit of time before my fiance and his friends get back here. Um, they just went to the beach um, down the street, and they will be back to watch a hockey game. So now that I have like an hour of like peace and quiet, I'm going to try and finish this room actually just made myself a cocktail um it's memorial day weekend so why not this drink is has been my obsession and will be my obsession all summer so it is so good if you like like tropical um flavor like coconut pineapple um and if you like tequila so yeah i guess you could do this with vodka too but it's really good with tequila two shots of your favorite tequila half a lime um Actually, there's a little less than half a lime in here because I had one like already cut up. Um, and then I just use a shot glass to measure everything. A shot of pineapple juice. And then um, I just took like a spoonful of cream of coconut. Mix it all up. Guys, it is so good. Tastes like summer in a drink. I got a good amount done today. I got the whole vanity section organized like you guys saw. Um, I even organized my desk over there. However, I have to go through the bottom drawer. It's like all like stuff about my taxes and stuff. So it's a little overwhelming. So I didn't want to do that today, but I will get to it. Um, that needs to be hung. I don't know if I could even, you guys, oh, you can't even see what I'm talking about. <laughs> that thing needs to be hung. Um, I'm gonna just vacuum. I'm gonna organize a little bit in this thing. Honestly, it's pretty organized. Um, I'll, I'll open it for you guys. Um, in here, I just have like my disposables. I have backup brushes. All my like tech stuff, like camera stuff, is here. Um, cleaning supplies. Just a bunch of random stuff goes in here. And then all of this is my lip stuff, which is pretty organized. But I'll just wipe it down in like dust. Um, yeah, that is what's going on on this Saturday night on Memorial Day weekend. This is what I spend my time doing. I have some thank you cards from weddings that I've done this year that I want to tape around this mirror here. So I'm just going to clean it off and then hang them up. I came away. Can't feel farther away. Wait on a moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. is over so I feel like I can finally focus and get shit done um, so we are almost done with the cleanup of here I just have to put a couple things away but I pretty much cleaned everything up now I just want to focus on cleaning the floor so this rug actually isn't that old however it already has a ton of stains on it so I'm gonna try and get some of the stains out this is what happens when you do makeup and spray tans in a room with a rug it's gonna get dirty so I always get really cheap rugs and then I also want to clean the hardwood floors and vacuum everything but we're almost there
So, the studio is finally clean. Oh my god, my tripod is slowly going down. Um, yeah, we're finally clean. Um, I feel good. I feel happy about it. I guess I'll just show you really quick, but um, it's funny because I just got this all done and then tomorrow and the next day I have clients at my house, so <laughs> it's just going to get messy, but it's okay. So this is the overview. So um, these lights are actually not going to be staying there. I wish I could keep them there, but it just doesn't make sense with where my clients sit. Um, I used to have my clients sit, like I used to set up the lights like a little bit over this way and then have them sit like over here. However, it was just kind of a pain in the butt because all of my products were over here so I was like constantly it was like walking back and forth so it just doesn't make sense honestly having my clients sit here makes the most sense because I have my products laid out here and then I have um, products that I put out on this top shelf here of this bar cart so I'll put like brushes or disposables like stuff that needs to be easily accessible I'll put over here so it just makes the most sense layout wise and for function for my client to be there because then I'm not like walking around them or anything like that like products here products are there and I can just reach for it as I work um so yeah I thought maybe I could have them sit over here and then like set up products here and here but then like it would mean my lights I don't know I guess I could have my lights set up in the center of the room but for now I have them there because there's like an open space here but they would actually be lined up like right here in front of the chair um, but yeah I don't know I'm still kind of playing around with the lighting but that is pretty much it let me um but yeah that's pretty much it um just trying to get organized it's the first of june so you know i want to start the the month off right and i feel good i feel like everything's clean and like in its spot so that's really good like i said i'm still gonna play around with the lighting but you know but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love and support. As always, um, stay tuned for my next video. Not sure what that's going to be, but definitely keep an eye out. And yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.